Welcome to the LoRa workshop. The goals of today are to demonstrate a complete IoT system. So this is a system that will go from device all the way to visualizing something through a cloud service partner. What we're going to do during the day, we're going to get familiar with the LoRa basics or part of the LoRa basics. We're going to practice uh, a few different examples to show you how to communicate with the LoRa device. So that we give you a general overview, we're going to show you Sigfox as well, uh, as Sigfox is also a sub gigahertz radio like LoRa. And then right at the end of the day, we're going to connect it to a cloud service partner. In our case, we're going to use Microsoft Azure. Uh, so that we can visualize the data that we're receiving from our device at potentially what your end customer will be wanting to show their end customers. So the agenda for today, we're going to go firstly straight into a hands-on. So we're going to test to make sure that everybody's board can talk to the LoRa network. Then we've got a half an hour slot of product positioning, so you'll get to see all the new products that are coming out and um, where our LoRa device sits within the STM32 product portfolio. After the break, we will do a small section on LoRa theory. So this is the theory about the implementation that ST have done for the LoRa. So it won't cover any of the Semtech parts of the LoRa system, as this is all still proprietary um, IP, but it'll show you more about what the ST elements of the system can do. After that theory, we'll then show you the LoRa protocol and how we've implemented the software. So this is the example, or the theory behind the example uh, that we're going to do in the next 10 minutes uh, and shows you how the state machine works for our example that we're going to do uh, next. After lunch, we'll have a look at the STM32 uh, that's driving the LoRa radio. So we'll have a look at all the various peripherals uh, and features of the STM32. Then we'll show a well, more of a fun number guessing game. So we'll be sending information to our gateway. And when you send in the correct value to the gateway, then the gateway will respond with um, a green LED to show you that you've hit the right number. After the last break, we'll then convert our number guessing game into more of a real life application. So this will be sending then, rather than guessing numbers, it'll be taking a temperature reading uh, and then sending that information up to the gateway. Um, once it's in the gateway, then you can move it through the cloud services partner and display it on a web screen anywhere else. After that, we'll have a quick look at the Sigfox to show you the comparison between the two sub gigahertz protocols that are um, big on everybody's mind at the moment. Then we'll go into the cloud demo. So you'll actually see my target board linking up to the cloud, running the temperature sensing hands-on that we've uh, done earlier in the afternoon. And then finally, we'll have our conclusions for the day. So hopefully, at the end of the day, you'll have gained enough information so that you can see what is involved in a device gateway cloud-based connected application using low power wide area networks. You'll be taking away two different types of examples. One will be an AT command-based example, which is the first one we're going to do. And then the second one will be a full embedded application-based example, which is the number guessing and the temperature sensing. And then hopefully at the end, 
you'll have all the knowledge and an idea of all the components needed so that you can start designing your own LoRa application.